Why do we fear the things we want most? Fear is a very powerful and real force in our lives. But why is fear so real? It's because deep down, we know that if we embrace our ideas, if we embrace our dreams, we must prove worthy of them. When we set a big goal, whether starting a new fitness routine, launching a business, or chasing a dream, the fear isn't just about the work. It's not about the hard work. It's not about putting in the effort that we're scared of. It's about the possibility of failure and the pressure of not meeting our own expectations of ourselves. This fear can be paralyzing because it touches our deepest insecurities. What if I actually try and I still fail? What if I give it my all and I still fall short? Because deep down we know this could be character suicide. We have this persona, this idea of who we are in our head. This is our belief of who we are, our character. We believe we are some kind of way, whether it's a tough guy, an athlete, a brainiac, an entrepreneur, whatever it is, we have this belief of ourselves of who we are. Most of these beliefs come when we're in a sedative state, when everything's going fine and there's nothing on the line. But what happens when the rubber meets the road? Who are you then? This character, if not built on a sound foundation out of doing hard and trying endeavors, or built on the soft sand inside the comfort zone, when tested, it will collapse. And who we thought we were, this character is now dead and gone. It's, it's a suicidal act to go out and chase our endeavors because if we fail, who we thought we were is gone. This is why it paralyzes us because we know our character, our belief in who we are will be tested and it takes courage. It's a courageous act to chase your dreams, to put yourself in the line. I tell you what, man, I'd much rather be in the arena being stomped on and mauled on by the bull than be sitting in the stands watching. Or worse, being out in the fucking parking lot, standing out there wondering what the fuck everyone else is doing inside the arena. Because when we step into the arena, I can guarantee you that there's going to be fear, guys. It never goes away. But you have to understand that fear is a good indicator that you're moving in the right direction. Because without the fear, you can never reach your dream. You can never reach your full potential. You must go through that fear first. Facing your fear, feeling this fear is actually a good sign. It means we're pushing ourselves beyond our boundaries, outside of our comfort zone, and moving towards something meaningful. It's almost like a fucking compass, guys. What scares you most is your calling. You must move towards your fears. Use that as your North Star. One of the things we have to do is we have to acknowledge fear for what it is. Understanding that fear is a part of the process. You can never get rid of it. It's always going to be there. You must overcome it each day. And when you wake the next day, it starts anew. Knowing this is a courageous act. All right? You must be courageous to go ahead up with it. To grab the fucking bull by the horns and take action despite of fear. And you must show up day after day. Some days you win. Some days you lose. It doesn't matter. You still must show up whether you feel like it or not. It means committing to your goal and taking consistent action forward every day. Remember guys, if you're feeling the fear, it means you're doing something right. Embrace it. Face it. And prove yourself worthy of your goal. Prove yourself worthy of your dream. You are only going to live one time, but one time is enough if you do it right. Be the man in the arena getting mauled on and stomped on by the bull and not a fucking critic sitting in the stands or the wanderer wondering what the fuck is going on from the outside in the parking lot, wondering what everyone's doing inside the arena. 